வணக்கம் நமஸ்காரா அண்ட் நமஸ்காரம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் வேல்யூவேஷன் and yes guys in the last sessions we had discussed the basic concepts of valuation what is valuation how is valuation different from price what are the uses of valuation what are the purposes in which your valuation can be employed what are the various um, uh, you know downsides of valuation how is valuation a subjective exercise rather than an objective exercise how valuation may vary from person to person situation to situation circumstance to circumstance we had discussed all these things in great detail in our earlier sessions In today's session we are going to deep dive into the methods of valuation the various approaches of valuation which are there in the last session we had started the first approach of valuation which was the market approach and yes in the market approach we had already covered two methods which are market price method and comparable companies multiple method now difference between these two methods uh, the market price method would not find any comparable company and then um, uh, find the market uh, price of that particular company it will rather use its own value its own shares of the past few years of past few months or past few weeks to ascertain the value of the company so market price method there's no comparable which is um, found out and the company's own value is to be considered as its market price i've already given you a hint guys that this market approach method is actually uh, not for calculating value it's for calculating price but yes we are using price and value interchangeably at various places therefore to get a um, idea of our valuation and um, uh, to get an idea fair idea of uh, you know multiple ways in which valuation can be done price can be one of the benchmarks okay so yes market price method in which no comparable will be um, ascertained the comparable will not be found out and it will be only the uh, value which is there of the company in the previous years that will be taken as the benchmark for calculating the uh, price of uh, today price of current period in the comparable companies multiple method over here guys we'll find a comparable company or multiple comparable companies and we will try to ascertain the value of our company according to that um, uh, multiple companies which we have found out okay so that is the difference between the market price method and the comparable companies method now today we are going to start our third method and the third method is comparable transactions method now guys uh, there may be a situation where our company the company in which we are working the area in which we are working there are not much comparables in market for our sector there are not much companies which are similar to our company our uh, product or our line of business in the market there is a possibility that we don't have any comparable companies or we don't have many comparable companies in that case guys and plus one more thing uh, we don't have any company which is publicly listed we have competit competitors you know either we don't have competitors then we move on to this particular method or we have competitors we have companies which are into similar line of business as we are in but they are not publicly traded in traded in stock exchange so we are not aware what will be the market price of shares of those companies we are not aware about it so in either of the two situations one where comparable company does not exist or second where comparable company exist but the market value or the market price of that comparable company is not ascertainable because of the um, dearth in um, uh, because of the lack of um, uh, you know expert lack of um, Uh, resources which are there to compute the market price that company is not traded in stock exchange that share is not ex uh, listed in stock exchange then guys in those situations we tend to use this method called the comparable transactions method over here it was comparable companies method but unfortunately we do not have a, any company which is comparable to our company so we are using comparable transactions method now in this method guys we take up certain transactions which have um, uh, you know been undertaken in the recent past and we try to gauge the value of our company using those transactions i'll give you an example okay byju's byju's was recently taken over by another p investor angel investor in that case in that private uh, transaction you know worth of byju's was ascertained now the thing is that this worth of byju's which was ascertained in the um, uh, in this particular transaction it was not a publicly listed company therefore the information was not publicly available but soon as byju's was uh, the value was ascertained and byju's was um, and that transaction happened guys um, many companies which went to ed, ed tech those companies got a hint of how valuation can be done for their companies as well so it was based on that one transaction based on that one transaction that other companies were valuing their own value based on one transaction not based on company but based on one transaction 
and that is the comparable transactions method. In this method, we are going to pick a particular transaction which has happened in market and we are going to benchmark our value, the value of our company which we are valuing according to that transaction which has recently taken place in the market. This is the comparable transactions method. So let's see in our book guys what is the definition of comparable transactions method or guideline transaction method. Both of them um, uh, are referring to the same method. It says that valuing an asset based on the transaction multiples derived from prices paid in specific transactions. So how is value computed? Value is computed according to the transaction multiples derived from prices paid in specific transactions. Companies in specialized business where there are there may not be um, uh, exchange traded comparables uses this method. So companies which are into specialized business where exchange traded multiples are not there. In that case guys we use this particular method. Transaction over the counter which is private transactions, private placements you know placements which are uh, or the transactions which are not occurring through stock exchange that is known as private placement or transaction over the counter. So private transactions may be taken for such transaction for valuing such transaction. For example, if a valuer is valuing an edtech company in India where there is no listed company in edtech. So in India there is no listed company which is there in edtech. Value drivers from private equity transactions such as think and learn by juice Vedantu etc may be considered. If the subject company is at a very early stage, a size discount shall be applied to ensure that valuation is not overstated. So as usually Baiju's and Vedantu, these are very big companies. So consider my company, okay, Nikhil Gupta classes. It's a very small company as compared to Baiju's and Vedantu. So soon as I'm referring to that transaction and I'm transposing that value into my value, as soon as I'm doing this exercise guys, I need to consider some discount in the value because my company is a much smaller company is a new um, a company which is a growing company and is not as big as Baiju's. So I have to apply a discounting factor also along with um, uh, taking that value. Okay, I can take that value because um, I don't have any other comparable in market. I don't have any other company which I can look forward to in the market. I can take that value, no problem in that. But please apply a discounting rate or some discount in the value. Don't consider that, okay, that company is valued at this. So my company equivalently will be valued at the similar amount. You should not do this. It will harm your valuation. It will uh, uh, give an overstated result in your valuation. So this is absolutely not advisable. But yes, Comparable transaction can be used for the companies which are, um, you know, rare companies and companies which are not uh, having a lot of uh, comparables. Now, these are the sector specific multiples which can be used, okay. Certain multiples, again, we need to use the multiples over here. Earlier, we were using multiples with respect to companies. Now, we'll be using multiples with respect to uh, some sectors or some transactions. What are those? Examples of sector specific multiples which may be used under this method are types of companies, subscription based firms such as cable companies, internet service providers and information providers such as Netflix. So companies which are subscription based companies which uh, take subscription from the subscriber and provide certain services. For them the value driver can be, value driver means the multiple which you can use is value per subscriber, enterprise value divided by number of subscribers. So as in this kind of a setup where subscriber base is there then you know considering P ratio, PS ratio not advisable. You directly consider your enterprise value to the number of subscribers which you have and you can compare it with the numbers of subscribers which you know um, suppose I am comparing with buy, buy juice then I'll compare my subscribers with buy juice subscribers that's how I'm going to compare it. We'll do a practical question of this don't worry okay. The internet uh, companies generating revenue from advertisement that are based on traffic on the site. So there are certain internet companies which um, uh, you know uh, will push traffic to your website and they will earn from the advertisement revenue. For those companies the value driver can be value per site visitor. So enterprise value divided by number of visitors or per site. So that is how uh, the value uh, multiple can be used to a certain value of these companies which are um, companies which are new companies okay companies which are having a very different area of work very different specialized area of work which is not commonly um, uh, you know seen or used anywhere else over there these value drivers can be used. So let's see one practical question of this particular concept guys. Uh, illustration number 11. Monica is trying to value chat app. So there's a company called chat app a chat messaging app that currently has 16 million users. So this chat app has 16 million users but does not generate any revenue. It might be a pre-revenue company. 
Okay. She has identified that WhatsApp was recently valued at USD 17.5 billion while having 450 million users. So WhatsApp is a big company. It was valued at 17.5 billion and the users are 450 million users. Considering the difference in size, Monica believes that a size discount of 95% should be applied while valuing chat app. So Monica is very honest, okay? We should appreciate this girl, Monica. She's very honest. She's saying that whatever value WhatsApp has, you should discount it by 95% to take the value of chat app because chat app is a recent startup only. The foreign exchange rate in INR is 65 per US dollar. You need to compute the value of chat app. Okay, let's compute the value of chat app and let's see what is the uh, value which we can compute of chat app. Okay. So let's start value of chat app we need to compute. Illustration number 11, computation of value of chat app. We need to compute the value of chat app. Okay. We are going to now analyze each and every parameter which WhatsApp has and ChatApp has and we need to compare both of them to compute the value of ChatApp. Okay, sir. So, first of all, let's write all the data which is given in the question. Okay. Now, value of ChatApp. Uh, value of, let's write value of WhatsApp first. Okay. value of WhatsApp. Value of WhatsApp is 7.5 billion. Okay. So guys, million has six zeros, billion has nine zeros. Okay. Point 0.5 means eight zeros. This is in USD. 7.5 billion. Eight zeros. Now, what are the subscribers of WhatsApp? How many subscribers are there in WhatsApp? A daily active subscriber, we need to see. Okay, four fifty million. Four fifty million. Million means six zeros. 450 million subscribers of WhatsApp. Okay. So if I were to compute value per subscriber of WhatsApp, what will it be? It will be 1 divided by 2. And this will be in USD. Okay. So it's 175 divided by 450 million comes out to 38 point eight nine per subscriber thirty eight point eight nine per subscriber okay now if I convert it into INR using the exchange rate exchange rate is sixty five per dollar I'm converting into INR okay Three 
मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्सटी फाइव सो थर्टी एट पॉइंट एट नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्सटी फाइव इट इज कमिंग आउट टू टू फाइव टू सेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव इन आई एन आर ओके इफ इन इंडियन रुपीज वी कंप्यूट द वैल्यू पर सब्सक्राइबर इट कम्स आउट टू टू फाइव टू सेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव ओके पर सब्सक्राइबर नाउ वी नीड टू अप्लाई अ डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू वैल्यू पर सब्सक्राइबर आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग और डिस्काउंट ऑफ 95 परसेंट ओके सो टू फाइव टू सेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव परसेंट विल बी द वैल्यू इट विल बी वन टू सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री नाइन पर सब्सक्राइबर वन टू सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री नाइन पर सब्सक्राइबर इज द वैल्यू विच वी हैव कंप्यूटर नाउ वी विल सी द सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ चार्ट ऐप हाउ मेनी सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ चार्ट ऐप आर देयर सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ चार्ट ऐप इट इज सिक्सटीन मिलियन यूजर्स सिक्सटीन मिलियन यूजर्स हेंस विल कंप्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ चार्ट ऐप सो वैल्यू ऑफ चार्ट ऐप विल बी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्स वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्सटीन Six times zero comes to a figure of two zero triple two four and four times zero. Okay, coming out to two hundred and two crores. Almost, almost two hundred and two crores in INR. Two hundred and two crores. Okay. So please write the conclusion. I hope you understood the point, guys. Point is we need to compute a unique multiple. Okay, multiple is very different from the multiple which we have used in our earlier computations. This multiple is a unique multiple which is value per subscriber. So using this multiple we can actually compute the value of our uh, company which is Chat App. Okay, sir. So let's conclude. Hence. Value of chat app hence the value of chat app may be computed as rupees value of chat app may be computed as rupees 20224 four, 20224 4 times 0 20224 times 0 That is the value of chat app, or it can, in short, be written as you know two zero two point two two crores. Two zero two point two two crores. Okay. 